Hi, I'm Nick. I'm here with First Updates Now for a Behind the Bumpers interview. We're here with Denim Venom Team 8044. I've got Ethan, Sebastian, who's going to talk about the drive and a lot of the systems here, and then Callie and Evan, who are going to talk about the controls. They've got an awesome double-side intake robot that's been absolutely ripping it up on the field here at the Magnolia region. So can't wait to get in on Behind the Bumpers. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to Animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions. Support Fun's content creators when you sign up for a membership on YouTube Join. You'll get access to special perks like emotes, loyalty badges, and Fun members will even get early access to our scheduled videos and more. 100% of this revenue will go back to our correspondents to help recognize their efforts. Click the Join button in any YouTube video to pledge your support. All right, Evan and Sebastian, let's go into this drive stream. How are you guys driving this robot? So we have four Mark for eyes that we use and they're mounted upside down. That way we have a quarter inch of clearance under our bot. That way there's no possibility of a note getting stuck under, like going under or us hitting it and it getting stuck inside of our gears. That There's just no chance of it happening. Awesome. And what motors are you guys running? Uh, we're using we're, all crackers. And how has that worked for you this year? Have you seen an improvement? It's a very big improvement from what we used last year. Mm -hmm. So last year we used Falcons, but now this year we're using Krakens, which are a whole lot like faster and like a lot better than the Falcons. Awesome. And so let's get into this side intake because we have not seen a lot of these in Crescendo. Um, how are is the robot intaking these notes from the floor? So we drive up, we can be going across the field full speed. I mean, as soon as it hit this, it's straight in. It's just immediate intake, uh, both sides, you know, it's, it's really, really, really fast. And it's great for our, us to have great cycle times. And the side intakes, um, I, you really like slam it into the sides of the field, but um, that it, you, even with the random motion of that, it's still really effective. Yeah, yeah. We were having some issues last week at our Arkansas Regional, but we went home, we fixed all of them, we added some extra stuff, and now it's working great. We haven't had any problems. Perfect, okay. And once the note is in the robot, where does it go from there? So where the note basically goes is in this center plate right here. It's a piece of poly that we've sanded down to where it becomes more slick and the note can just slide in there. Mm -hmm. Right. And then it goes all the way straight up into the updexer. Okay. The updexer then sends it all the way towards the shooter, and then we can either decide to shoot it into the speaker or we can uh, score on the amp. Right. And was that sanded poly a change that you made after Arkansas or? Yes. Okay. So the reason why we sanded it is because it created, it was more slick. And so when we, when it was not sanded down, the note would kind of get wedged in with, with it and it wouldn't be able to move. Right. And so once it's into the speaker, you've got the amp. Can we look at this gear system? This is crazy. Have you found these belts? So these belts are moving the note into the amp or into the speaker, correct? Yes. So if you see that these two motors are right here, mm -hmm. these decide whether we can either uh, score in the speaker or the amp. So these two, if they're spinning in a certain direction, uh, we can score in the amp. But if we take these two motors and the two motors in the front right here, uh, if we Pull, uh, run them in a straight direction, right. we can shoot in the speaker. Okay, and are you running these at different speeds to kind of give the note a spin or no? Yes. Okay, yeah, I, I've uh, talked to another team that was doing that as well, so that's really awesome. Um, so how are you using um, the limelight to, are you guys using airplane tags? Yes. Okay, and that is for the speaker or the, for your auto routines, do you know? Uh, for both. So we use it, it auto aligns for our autos. It, it, it picks this up, this will be about this angle, and then it immediately just locks on. Mm -hmm. And it'll lock on while we're moving all of that. And it also does that while we are, are in tele -op too. Amazing. Well, let's get into some of the controls and what um, you guys are doing with match footage to really maximize your scoring with Callie and Evan. Let's pass it on. So take me behind your computer because this is some amazing 
match footage and is the yep. path auto making system. I really want to get into this. So what I'd like to show you guys first is actually our program that we developed with our team called Insight. And we use this to create and design autos for um, the autonomous period before matches. Mm -hmm. So basically we can just plot points using our cursor and it is exact. So we use our pose estimator to determine where we are on uh, the match at all times. And this is actually that is actually included in this so that we can make sure that we're going to the right places in the field uh, during autonomous at all times. Awesome. So this is what we use to design it. It is a lot clearer whenever you um, uh, have them enabled. So it's gonna go right here and then it's gonna go back up here, get this note, come back and score it. Um, this is created by our this is created by our team. Um, and then this is not created by our team, but we used it um, we used an open source version of Advantage Kit or Advantage Scope to uh, for our own purposes so that mm -hmm. we could replay matches after they've already been done and look at every single input and output on the robot to make sure to de to find out what what happened, like why a problem would ha happen, for example. Do you want to show us? Yeah. Like, OK, so just kind of showing off Advantage Go a little bit. So like Evan said, we use this, and it's like a modified version of what another team has made. But we have changed it to where we have media scouts, and we have our media scouts record our matches. And then we can look at the simulated version on here. And not only that, we can also look at line graphs and we can see like voltage spikes in our motors and a bunch of other things to help us control a lot better. That must be so useful and you can improve throughout the event as you're getting that footage. Yes, yeah, so actually that was something huge at our last regional Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So um, whenever we upgrade it to Phoenix 6, we didn't realize that we had to put voltage limiters in the code. And um, unfortunately, whenever we started at Arkansas, we did not have that. So we were telling our motors to just keep drawing power until you got to where you need it to go. Wow. So that was something that we definitely used Advantage Scope to look at because we were seeing our battery um, brown immediately. Yep. Like, And our batteries are pretty good. There's a couple that are iffy, but most of them are amazing. And so seeing every single one of them brown each match was very telling that we needed to fix something. Makes sense. And how does the program know where the robot is on the field? So that's kind of with posed estimation again. Mm -hmm. So do you want to kind of talk about it? <laughs> so um, this is actually a great example of how our pose estimation, pose estimation works. So right here, as you can see, there's a little jitter motion right here. And this is actually whenever the robot comes in contact and sees uh, a April tag. So once it sees the April tag, it'll correct itself to where it's supposed to be. So this is all based on April tags. It's based off of April tags. Um, yeah, just and, April tags. Yeah. Okay. Uh, attention in the pits. Uh, attention and in the based, pits. it's also based Any off of uh, fire, previous flower, like paths. So fire. right here, as soon as it Please like sees where it is, um, it'll correct itself. Also, and it's based off of previous uh, motor of values. That makes so sense. Um, that's a really good example. To the field as okay. well. Um, so we have touched on Advantage Scope and Insight, but another really cool thing that our team does is we can run autonomous modes just completely without running the robot. So we can simulate autonomous modes, which is what Evan's about to show us. So we have used and kind of developed Advantage Scope to where we are able to move our robot without moving our robot. Basically, this is what we use if we designed an auto, but we don't necessarily get to test it or we don't necessarily know where or remember where it goes so if we wanted to simulate an auto right here mm -hmm. what we can do is set it to the right team but we can simulate the auto and it'll show the exact path and trajectory that is going to go on during the auto so we can make sure that everything is running smoothly everything is facing the right direction and all of the it also helps with commands so that if it's on this side, then we know to run the right or left intake, for example. That's absolutely incredible. Well, let's see this robot in action. Let's see these double intakes. 
What? Okay, have y'all timed that? Oh, um, no, we have not. But it's fast. Okay, and now we're going to show you shooting. So we can both shoot and amp from the speaker. Right. So go ahead. Nice. Okay. And then why don't we show them amp as well? Well, that note has gone vertical, horizontal, diagonal, U-shaped. Inc <laughs> absolutely incredible machine. Um, thank you guys so much for your time. Really incredible work um, this season and can't wait to see you on the field for the rest of Magnolia. Thank you so much. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your robotics competition needs. Celebrating 20 years of quality robotics parts and superior service, Animark employees have over 200 years of first-team experience. From mechanical and electrical products to tools and hardware, head on over to animark.com for high-quality and affordable solutions.